So in this word problem, we're going to try to maximize revenue. We're given that a dog food producer reduced the price of a dog food. With the price at $8, the average monthly sales is $29,000. Well, when they drop the price to $7, the average monthly sales rose to $35,000. We're supposed to assume that the monthly sales is linearly related to the price. So as we're setting this up, what we want to do is connect together price and quantity in a linear fashion. So that means we're creating a demand function. Now, in this case, because it's uh, the sales is related to the price, I'm going to use X is going to be our price. And Y values are basically going to be our quantity. As I'm thinking this through, we know it's linear, which tells us that our demand function is going to be set up as Y equals MX plus B. And basically they gave us two ordered pairs to go on here. One ordered pair, if we're plugging in an X value of eight, a price, we're gonna have 29,000 as our quantity that's related to that. And then the other ordered pair, seven goes along with 35,000. Okay, so to get this linear relationship set up, we're gonna need the slope of this line. So M is gonna be the slope formula. We're just gonna use Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And treat these ordered pairs as we fill them in um, as just being ordered pairs. So let's go ahead and say 35,000 minus 29,000 over seven minus eight. So this will give us 6,000 over negative one or negative 6,000. All right, as we fill that in, we can get Y equals negative 6,000 times X plus B. But this is gonna leave us with, we don't know what B is yet. So to find that, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in using one of the ordered pairs. So filling in, I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the second ordered pair that we set up, the seven comma 35,000. So 35,000 is gonna be a Y value is gonna equal negative 6,000 times seven plus B. This leaves us with only one unknown. We don't know what B is, but we can do a little bit of solving down and find that. So 35,000 equals, multiplying those two together, negative 42,000 plus B. We'll add the 42,000 to the other side and get B equals 77,000. Okay, this means our demand function is y equals negative 6,000 times x plus 77,000. All right, but we're trying to maximize the revenue. So we need to represent the revenue. So the revenue is always just price times quantity. So in our case, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is R of X to represent it, call it a function. Our price was the X value, and then the quantity was gonna be our Y. So what I'm gonna use is Y equals the negative 6,000 times X plus 77,000. So I'm gonna fill that in where our quantity is. Negative 6,000 X plus 77,000. All right, to optimize this, to maximize our revenue, what we wanna do is find any critical numbers or critical values. So to do that, we wanna find the first derivative. So R of X, sorry, before we find the first derivative, I'd rather not use the product rule. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply this out so we can just use the power rule. So distributing that X on the outside, we're gonna get negative 6,000 X squared, plus 77,000 X. Now let's find the first derivative. Using the power rule, we'll go ahead and bring the two down, multiply it by 6,000, so negative 12,000. Reduce the exponent by one, plus 77,000. Okay, to get the critical numbers, we're gonna have to set this equal to zero and solve down. So subtract the 77,000 from both sides. and then divide both sides by negative 12,000. 
So we get an X value of 6.416 is gonna be repeating. Now recall X was our price. So that's an exact answer, but we're probably gonna get an approximation for exactly what we should charge to the nearest cent. So I'd go ahead and say this is $6.42, all right? And then that price is gonna maximize our revenue. So I hope this helps you as you're working through trying to set up a revenue function. Remember if it's a linear relationship, treat it like we have ordered pairs and make sure it fits into that Y equals MX plus B. All right, hope this helps out, good luck.